everyone welcome to my youtube channel if you're new thank you for watching today's video and if you're a returning subscriber again thank you for checking in so today's video is something a bit different so if you don't know already i have been for the over the past like probably like 11 years i've been kind of trying out different diets and um i'm currently finding that the vegan slash plant-based diet is the diet that i thrive on the most i'm trying really hard this year to stick to a whole food plant-based diet so there's a bit of variation between vegan and whole food plant-based because you know vegans can consume a lot of processed vegan foods such as tempeh um and soya products such as tofu and you know fake meat substitutes such as vegan sausages vegan burgers whereas whole food plant-based um, they don't really do that they kind of eat like whole foods so like sweet potato beans lentils grains you know whole foods that haven't really been processed so i'm kind of leaning more towards the whole food plant-based diet so i'm about to i'm doing like a 9e slash 10 rule it's so like 90 percent of the time i'll eat whole food plant-based and then maybe 10 percent of the things i eat will be a little bit processed but it won't be any meat or dairy so in today's video i wanted to show you an example of what i eat in a day um i've always wanted to film one of these i have one on my channel that i filmed previously but i'd like to do more more of these types of videos because i feel like it's a bit i find it interesting to see what other people eat people always come to me with questions about my diet so this is a good example of just what i will eat in a day okay so i want to start by saying i ordered from a company called exotic fruits this is not sponsored um but i've been trying to find different fruits and vegetables that are really good for you um so i bought a papaya and a soursop obviously i've had papaya before but soursop is a jamaican fruit which has a lot of health benefits so google the health benefits is literally amazing but it's very hard to find in the uk and it's extremely expensive i think it's about 10 pound for one salsa i also wanted to try an exotic papaya because i don't know sometimes the papayas you get from like the supermarkets as they're in tesco they don't really taste that great and i always see people online going on about how nice papayas are um so i thought i'd just give it a try from an exotic fruit company why not um i didn't actually show you guys me eating it in this video because this was the day that i got the delivery i wanted to show you guys what i bought another staple in my household is some burro bananas if you don't know what burro bananas are they're meant to be uh like mother of bananas so obviously we have a lot of hybrid fruits um in the world today uh where science has created new variations of fruits and vegetables so dr sebi says we should be eating foods that are non-gmo non-hybrid so like as natural as possible so burro bananas are literally these tiny bananas science nowadays has made bananas much bigger than they originally were but yeah we buy these burro bananas and these key limes from an asian market in our area just to stock up and bulk up key limes again is meant to be alkaline for the body i like drinking it in the morning with some hot water squeeze a little bit of key lime in there and it's just meant to replenish your cells and alkalize your body so me and my partner like to stock up on burro bananas and key limes what we do is half of the burro bananas we break up and freeze for smoothies and then the other half we just leave fresh and we eat them maybe like one a day until they run out so for breakfast i've really been enjoying smoothie bowls if you follow me on instagram shots by night you know i love a smoothie bowl so what i do is i make my own homemade granola with oats seeds so like hemp seeds chia seeds cashew nuts peanut butter if you guys want to see a tutorial and a recipe of how i make my granola please comment it down below and i'll be sure to get that to you i make a big batch of granola at the beginning of the week and then i just use it to sprinkle over my smoothie bowls so today's smoothie bowl i blended some frozen blueberries banana and then i make little coconut water ice cubes um and i just blended that up with some apple juice some homemade apple juice and it was absolutely amazing so you can see me here i'm just topping it off with a whole bunch of granola you've got a load of granola for it to be a filling breakfast and then i pile on a bunch of fruits so here are some examples of other days so i might put pomegranates on it i might put banana i might put mango i might put my super seed peanut butter on there which you can see here um but yeah it just depends what fruits i have and what fruits i'm craving i will just literally load up the bowl with granola so for lunch this day i had some soft tacos um so i tried to have like a mexican day 
once a week so this was actually for lunch so this was left leftovers but the day before for dinner i had a whole bunch of mexican vegan tacos with tortilla chips guacamole salsa it was absolutely amazing in today's tacos i had so i had three mini i used the mini shells just because they're more easier to hold and eat so i had three mini soft tacos i warmed the tortillas in the oven and then i make mexican rice so mexican lime rice i make like a tomato black bean it's not really a stew but it kind of is and then i top it with some vegetables so what i do is i saute some onions and some bell peppers with taco seasoning in the pan fry it up quickly it's absolutely amazing put that on top put some fresh kale or lettuce and then i'll chop up some avocado or make guacamole and spread guacamole on top and i'll have some salsa as well it was absolutely amazing throughout the week this is like one of my favorite meals i look forward to because i love mexican food it tastes absolutely amazing and it's very easy to make so one thing i love to do is make fruit platters especially if we're you know having a family gathering or you know we're having a movie night or something so around this time we literally had a movie night it was about four of us so i decided to make a fruit platter obviously we have popcorn and whatnot but it's good to have fresh snacks out for everyone to eat on the table so we had a movie night and on this platter i put pineapple passion fruit raspberries mangoes watermelon it was absolutely amazing it's just good to have it's good to have fresh fruit to pack on because there was some leftovers so for the next morning i just had a fruit bowl and i chill it in the fridge for a couple of hours and just take it out you know when i'm about to sit down and watch a film and then for dinner i had a ghanaian staple ghanaian slash nigerian me and my partner we're african so we we gotta get that african food during the week i had made us a ghanaian dish called red red which is made from black eyed beans in the typical you know ghanaian stew you cook it down and i also made yam porridge which is a nigerian dish you cook down yam in literally the same stew and then i also fried some plantain it was absolutely amazing my partner loves this meal and we really enjoyed it that's everything i ate today obviously i eat different things every day so i'll be filming more of these videos so you can see different different days and different types of things that i eat thank you very much for watching the video if you enjoyed this type of video make sure you comment down below and let me know and if you would like me to share any of the recipes or anything i made on today's video then please also comment that down below if you like the video make sure you like comment subscribe and share and comment down below any other videos you want me to do Peace.